What's up, sports fans? It's your man D back speaking my sports talk. All right, check it out, man. So Canelo Alvarez relinquished his 175 pound belt he just won for the love of sports. Let's talk about it. All right, so this is pretty much probably going to be a big story. Um, just read an article concerning it uh, from Dan Raphael. But Canelo Alvarez has released, relinquished the title that he won from Sergei Kovalev. Um, and, you know, there's going to be a lot of videos that come out about this. Mm. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. It's going to be a lot of videos that come out about this. You best believe it. One thing's for sure that's going to come out of this video is... Uh, a lot of hate for Canelo. Because there's a lot of people that just don't like the man. And, you know, it is what it is. You get it with all of the guys that's at the top. Uh, AJ, Lomachenko, Wilder, um, Crawford, Spence. You know, if you're at the top and you, you're you beating everyone, then there are just going to be haters there. That's in every sport and just about every facet of life. That's just how it is. So Canelo's going to have a lot of uh, videos coming out, not really paying attention to what's going on with these moves. So first and foremost, uh, Canelo Alvarez and the WBO have a good relationship. And there was a strategy involved in him relinquishing that belt. Now, I said myself that I didn't think Canelo Alvarez would fight better BF and Bivol. Now he's relinquished the belt, so I think there's a little more validity to that. I thought that he should move down to 168, maybe fight one of those champions, then move back down to 160 and mm. finish handling the business that he has there. Okay, this is what seems like is starting to take place. Um, first and foremost, the deal that was made with him relinquishing the WBO belt, they, they can still make money now. They can put that belt up at vacancy, you know, the champions fight for it, maybe b and better be a fight for it, who knows. Of course, they wouldn't do that, but anyway, they can make money off that belt. They can put it up to be, you know, to get another champion under that belt and start, you know, getting sanctioned and fees off of that champion. But, and by Canelo Alvarez relinquishing that belt, he also got rights to be the automatic mandatory in any WBO weight class. Now, think about this, guys. Callum Smith, WBO champion, 168. His team just said they're not giving John Ryder a rematch. Why? Hmm. Why wouldn't they give John Ryder a rematch? Great fight. John Ryder took it to him. Well deserving of a rematch. But no, we're not going to give him a rematch. Everybody wants Canelo. Everybody wants a piece of that money. Well, Canelo, WBO mandatory automatically because he relinquished the belt. That's the deal they made. Callum Smith. WBO champion, put two and two together. I believe Canelo Alvarez's next fight will be against Callum Smith in England. In England. You see how all of this is falling in place? Because Canelo Alvarez needs to keep that star power on a high. The zone needs to keep Canelo Alvarez having that star power on a high because Anthony Joshua's making moves. See, these guys are making all the money, all the moves. So Callum Smith, Canelo Alvarez next. This is this has a lot to do with relinquishing that belt, but with a deal attached to it. Now you'll have haters out here, and I'm, <laughs> I haven't seen the videos yet, but they're gonna call him, you know, scared of this, or you know, he made a punk move, or whatever, whatever the narratives are, but. This is strategies, and, you know, I think many people will agree. Canelo Alvarez has achieved enough where he can do what he wants, but at least he's making these strategies to go fight yet another champion. 
hit that subscribe button for me and hit that bell icon so y'all know when I drop these videos. Hit that like on your way in or out. And for the love of sports, let's talk about it. Peace.